guys, Jana here. Welcome to my first ever video tutorial. So for today, I'm going to show you how to create custom animation and timing on PowerPoint presentation. Let's go ahead and get started. For the first part of our video, we will create our own simple presentation with basic animations and timing. The first thing that we need to do is of course, open the Microsoft PowerPoint. So right now, I'm using the 2016 version of this application software. Next, we must go to the Insert section and choose among these options what to insert on your presentation. It could be pictures, online pictures, photo albums, screenshots, shapes, text, and a lot more. So I prefer to use shape. And then later on, we're going to use pictures text and we will apply the animation that I'll be showing you right now. So to apply animation on this figure, go to the animation tab and click the animation pane. The importance of this one is to see the sequence and duration of your animation. You can also edit which one will appear first, before and after by clicking these buttons. Anyway, let's now click Add, Add Animation. And here, we can see the preloaded sets of animations. We have sets for Entrance, Emphasis, Exits, Motion Paths, and a lot more options. Now let's choose Fly In for the entrance of the figure, then Darken, to emphasize and last is fly out for the exit now let's see what happens to the figure after applying animations there you go now let's adjust the timing of the animation so when adjusting the the duration and timing of the animations there are three options the first one is to adjust the properties here located on the ribbon these three properties next one is by simply dragging this bar located on the animation pane so as you can see you can just simply adjust how many seconds do you want your animation to be shown and the third option is to right click on the animation and you can see all the options or properties of the animation now let's adjust the timing by using the first option so what will happen if we choose after previews? So obviously the animation will play after the first animation. And we're going to add its duration to 2 seconds. And for the third animation, let's apply after previews then with a delay of 3 seconds now let's see there so as you have as you have seen on the screen um animation 2 has the longer longer duration among the three animations and also the delay for the third animation is 3 seconds. That is why before the animation have, have um, applied to the third animation, it took a longer time to display. So that's it. If you really want to add some excitement to your presentation,
try adding some animations. Now, I'm gonna show you the PowerPoint that we used recently during our title defense. Let's see what kind of animations have been applied and how the timing was applied and adjusted to the text and figures. There you go! PowerPoint has a wide variety of animated effects that can be applied to text and other objects. Again, let's check the animation pane to see the sequence of animations. Animation pane can also be helpful if you already have a lot of animations on your presentation. It can help you to view the order of your animation that you have just applied and you can also reorder the animations. So as we can see on the screen, there is a number on the left side of the text and figures. This one indicates that the text or any object has an animation. The thumbnail of the slide will also have a star icon. Now, you must also take note that the key to using animations effectively is moderation. This is the reason why we have used this animation to display the title. Say, if we used swivel effect, it could be distracting to the audience. Now let's apply the swivel effect. There. So instead of using the swivel effect, we, we will just use the previous effect which is the fly-in so that it will look more formal and the title will be given a time to shine. It is also important to know that not every object needs an animation. This is especially true in more corporate or professional settings. Now, let's go back to the drop-down arrow and then choose the effect options from the menu and a dialog box will appear wherein you can really fine-tune the effect. Some of these options will vary depending on the specific animation you're working with. Now let's say we're going to edit the animation from the right of the screen. Edit its smooth start within 5 seconds and with smooth end within 3 seconds. It also depends on you whether you're going to apply sound on your animation. You can also animate your text all at once by word or by letter. Now let's see what will happen if we apply it by word. We can also adjust the timing. Now we have set it to after previous on delay 0 second. Um, we can also adjust the duration to 1 second. We can also set the repetition of the animation. So I prefer not to repeat the title since we are in a formal setting. Now let's apply the properties that we have adjusted. So that's it. I hope you learned something on my video tutorial. I am Janali Ibas Bas, Batch 2019-2020, 11 STEM 1 represent.